Vanessa Murdoch is back now with more on the first alert forecast, and it is going to be a brutally cold one tomorrow, Vanessa. It certainly is. So I'm sure many want to know when will it not be yes. cold <laughs> any longer, and the answer is not in the short term. We have to get really to Wednesday before we turn the corner on the cold. So it's a couple of days embedded in the Arctic air. Let's give you a look live outside right now. Temperatures are still falling out there. Skies are still cloudy over the city. It's 32. Winds are still powerful out of the west northwest up to 26 miles per hour. And we do have still a few snow showers flying across the region. Let's talk about March Madness in the weather department. We hit 60 on Friday. Well, tomorrow morning when you step outside, we talked about it. We'll remind you it will feel like nine. There will be sun to start the day and then a returning chance for a few snow showers, mainly north and west of the city tomorrow afternoon. Now, tomorrow we do anticipate setting some new records for the coldest daytime highs on record. Where might that happen? It is looking likely for LaGuardia as well as JFK, Islip and Bridgeport. High temperatures in the mid 30s would be just a couple of degrees colder than yeah, the records that are already in existence. So we are looking at some very cold temperatures, but it won't feel 35. It will feel more like the teens and low 20s for us by afternoon. Tuesday, 43. Then I said Wednesday will turn the corner. 48. Thursday into Friday, temperatures will be in the mid 60s. Overhead at the moment, we still do have a few snow showers streaming across the region. By morning, we get a break from these. We'll see some sunshine to start the day as Arctic high pressure begins to build in. But we will still have some upper level energy that spins through, helping to rebuild the cloud cover and again spawning that chance for an afternoon snow shower, but tomorrow it will be more isolated north and west of the city. So overnight skies are partially clearing, temperatures are crashing. Tomorrow morning it is cold, but bright to start by afternoon. It's passing clouds, maybe a snow shower, mainly north and west. Overnight Monday into Tuesday, skies clear again. It gets even colder. Yes, colder. And then for the day on Tuesday, high temperatures will be warmer, but still well below seasonable. For tomorrow, it's 35 degrees or high again. Bright to start, some more clouds by afternoon. Windy, winds gusting up to 30, so that 35 degree high feels more like 15 to 20 for most of us. As we look at those wind chills through the day, tomorrow it is going to be frigid still. I want to advance to Tuesday morning to show you it is equally cold. Tuesday morning, overnight lows will be even a little bit lower than they will be to start things off. So let's go ahead and show you when we really heat things up. It's Thursday into Friday, but Tuesday it's mostly sunny breezy 43 by afternoon Wednesday 48 and then a little soggy as we warm into the mid 60s that's all and right work week. we'll take the rain as long as it's not 20 <laughs> degrees <laughs> I know. right it is gonna be brutal yeah all right thank you mm -hmm. Vanessa